New Jersey students carry some of the highest debt in the nation. Why has that happened over the years, Governor Whitman, and what can be done about it? Well, it's been a steady creep in tuition increases, and uh, students not always knowing, taking advantage of all the programs that are out there for them. TAG grants have gone up, but as a percentage of the overall tuition costs, they're, they're less than they were uh, 10 years ago. And so this has been something that has been coming over time as new contracts are negotiated, as uh, costs go up. It's something that the uh, boards of the various universities, college and universities, where they have a great deal of responsibility and need to take a good hard look. But their problem is that the state's support for higher education has been diminishing because of all the other issues that the state faces. Well, that's certainly an important part of the equation, as you point out. And Governor Florio, how do you see the state's fiscal health impacting higher education? Not well. I mean, obviously, the fiscal health of the state has resulted in the uh, contribution that the state used to make to the co colleges and universities reduced. And when I was in office, 70% of the cost of the college was paid for by the state. Now it's 30%. The, 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 all the rest of the money has to come from the college, and the college usually goes to the tuitions as a source of revenue. How does that money come through to the colleges uh, in terms of the public institutions in this state? Do they go through the, to the legislature, to the executive branch, and, and ask for that money depending on need? And, and how, how is the response given to, well, the to those institutions? the problem is we don't have a real Department of Higher Education. I mean, we used to have a chancellor, and therefore it was disciplined through the state. Allocations were made in accordance with the standards that they were using. Now it's sort of every college for itself. They try to go to the legislature and get as much money. There's not as much money there to distribute, but it's not distributed Equally, a lot of the colleges don't feel they're getting their fair share, but the problem is overly financial, the absence of money, but it's also the absence of a rational system. We really should have a higher education master plan. New Jersey's not that big, I mean, geographically. We've got colleges and universities that probably should allocate their responsibilities much more rationally than having a food fight every year for the diminishing amount of money available. Would you agree with that, Governor Whitman? Is it perhaps time to take another look at the system, the higher education system well, when itself? When we did the Higher Education Restructuring Act, which actually did away with the Chancellor's Office, but it was done on, predicated on the presumption that these are universities of higher education. They've got to make some of their own decisions. In fact, my mother was on the Board of Higher Education, and I used to watch her as a layperson with stacks like papers like this to go down to the meetings to make decisions from Trenton about what each college and university should do. So there were two boards set up. It was the first time actually the four-year institution presidents had actually had ever talked to the two-year college presidents, which was extraordinary in my mind. We didn't then, we didn't have the kind of integration that I think would have been healthy. That got better, but it needs to be rethought and it was rethought, and there, was, uh, there were changes made last year. I think that's appropriate. That's the way those things should work. We, they weren't supposed to go individually, and that was one of the criteria. They were still not supposed to go to the, uh, the, 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 to the legislature individually, but that's where politics comes into it, too. You have individual legislators that are going to go and they want specific programs in their part of the state. They want a medical school at Rowan, uh, which never had one. That's a big expense and that comes from the state's money and, and that's how it's happening. So how do you keep the politics out of, of higher education in New Jersey? Well, you're never going to do that. But the question is whether you're going to do it from a, from a centralized thought process or everybody competing with each other. The centralized thought process giving to the presidents the capability of self-rule sounds good, but the fact of the matter is the experience was that no one ever said no. So someone comes in with a project, I want to do this, all the other presidents say, okay, but you have to take care of me doing this. So what you did is take the legislative process, put it into a group of people who are self-regulating themselves, it apparently didn't work very well. So it's been modified, as the governor said, they've made some changes. I think the difficulty is that they've made changes that are good, but they haven't substituted something that's better. We now have a, I think we have a secretary of education yes. that has no power. Um, that's just not something that works very well. So I think we're going to have to have a more centralized system for having democratic input into the process by the presidents, but they can't be in control.
New Jersey has long boasted about its highly educated workforce, and, and certainly the higher education system is something we have to continue to pay attention to in this state. Governors, thank you very much. Pleasure. Appreciate your time.